my friends. Happy Monday. Hey, everyone. So, y'all know Monday's my favorite day. And I know that's weird, but it's like my favorite day. I woke up this morning and I was so tired. I'm like so ready for Gen Con. Well, it didn't help that our power went out last night. Yeah, that was so frustrating. Like, our power just randomly flicked twice in the middle of the night, which, like, we normally wouldn't have. I woke up with it, but then would have gone right back to sleep. Except we have, the previous owners had, like, an ABT system, and it's not active, it doesn't work, but anytime the power goes out, it starts beeping. We have different security. <laughs> we have the Second Amendment kind of security. <laughs> Hey, or that our security system doesn't work. No, the um, ABT system does not work. Uh, but we have an uh, alternate method. It works and then it beeps whenever the power goes out. And yeah. so I go in there and tell it to shut up. And so we is, all get to wake up extra early. Yeah. I was so tired. Yeah. I'm going to tell them what I did. Oh okay, so like I was making, I was like, ah, ah, I got to get this espresso. I need espresso in, in my, in my mm. body right now. You so I sit morning, there, morning. yes, okay, this morning. Yes. Like once I woke up, I was like just ready to start the day and like do the thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's like Monday is my favorite day. I'm like got a lot to do. I got a short work week. We've got Gen Con coming up. Very excited. A lot to do in a couple days. So I'm making myself this latte, and I'm like, you know what? It's Monday. We deserve a little treat. So I reach over into the cabinet and I pull out this. We have a British friend. She always gives me like little British treats and so she gave me for my birthday some like called Maltesers it's a uh, hot cocoa mix and I'm like I'm gonna put some of this in my latte it's gonna be so good I'm gonna like just put it in here and like froth the milk up and like put my ice in there it's like beautiful I'm like it's gonna be a good week it's beautiful pour my espresso in there stir it up take a big sip realize that instead of the Maltesers because it's like working with one eye this is so tired I put gravy mix, <laughs> gravy mix, like uh, Bisto brand, if you know, you know, uh, Bisto into my latte this morning and just took a big old swig out of what I thought was going to be a mocha was instead the worst thing you can imagine first thing in the morning, <laughs> which did the job. It woke me right up um, and my day could only get better from here and it did. Um, uh, but that's just kind of where we're at. Uh, that's just where we're at on this Monday. So we figured uh, if we're going to start our day out with a gravy latte, we might as well get our ass kicked in there one minute or a second time. Yeah. <laughs> so we tried this yesterday. We died. We died beautifully. Jesse from Dumb Husky Games was with us. Um, he's not with us tonight. Uh, yes. But um, we're going to try this. So because I'm sure they are getting ready, as we will be doing as soon as we end the stream, getting ready for Gen Con. Correct. Um, yeah, dude. I just wish we were there already. Like, uh, just Seminar. wish we were there. I know, I know. I'm so excited, too, uh, because um, we hired a new guy at work, and like we had like our little intro meet and greet. And I get a text from our manager, and he's like, hey, just so you know, like, he, he likes to play board games. And, like, that's a big spectrum, right? And, like, my manager knows that I play board games, but I think he thinks it's, like, Monopoly, Yahtzee, like, that kind of thing, which we love. But, like, you know. So when we're in our meet and greet, I was like, well, I heard you like to play board games. And he immediately, the whole work conversation stops, and he's like, uh, yeah, here's what we're playing right now. We're playing Crosshaven. We're playing <laughs> Mages of Madness. We're playing a lot of, uh, uh, oh shoot, uh, another like real big thick. And I was like, oh, so like, you're like a board gamer, board gamer. So like we've been sending to their selfies and like, see this pile over here, like games that we're giving away um, that we just like pulled off of our shelves. So I was like, hey, you want to get in on this action? Like we've got games that like, it makes me happy that now I have a friend at work that like understands who we are because like when I tell people that we like to play board games that Jeremy makes board games they, they're like oh like Monopoly and I'm like mm -hmm. that's always it's that's always Monopoly. the thing <laughs> oh you like Monopoly <laughs> um I literally was watching an old shut up and sit down uh review the other day yeah uh where Quinn's was in India I believe at the time Ooh. and like 
during the credits or whatever, he showed a clip from like a meetup he did out there. He's like, okay. yeah, we actually have fans in India, believe it or not. And uh, one of the people asked, hey, is it, is it just India or is it everywhere? When you tell somebody you play board games and they go, oh, you mean like Monopoly? And he just laughed and said, no, Monopoly is a plague across the globe. <laughs> Monopoly is fun. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, oh, yes. Barbie, her. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, <laughs> I, I hope you all saw that. I hope you saw that. I don't know if they could, actually. <laughs> I think it was all out right. of frame. Kirk, say, thank you, Cosmic. Oh, all here right. she comes. Barbie jumped up on the table, like just over here beside Jeremy. That's so funny. Here you go, Barbara. Oh, say thank you, Cosmic D. We were saying yesterday how you love our dogs, I feel like, as much as we do. Um, and we love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there, we'll get that in place. Oh, no, she just took it and ran with it. I was trying to get her down there for the Barbie cam. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we once again have the camera under the you're gonna get a lot of like foot shots. Y'all don't y'all don't judge me for wearing socks with my Birkenstocks. I got cold today. <laughs> you know, it's the end of July, so it's time for me to start wearing long sleeves again, which I have been sleeping uh-huh. under two blankets. Uh, hopefully, the girls will spend some time under the table so that you can see. Actually, let me take Alan. Damn, like, it's a horrifying ball. Like so this is all that's left of Barb's stuff again. <laughs> he used to have a head here, no head. Oh, there's like a, a ball in here. Yeah. Like a spiky ball. Yeah. It's like a clear COVID. Hey, yo, speaking of COVID, um, everyone that I know just about right now has COVID. <laughs> no one that we're going with uh, on our trip, thank goodness, but... Just about everyone else that at my work <laughs> yeah, otherwise has COVID, so like, don't just be careful. Seriously, out there. every time. Hey, hey, Herc. Hey, Herc. You can come lay down. Come here, Herc. Hey. Okay, so we're playing Werewood Manor again. Uh, we're playing the same characters we played yesterday. Uh, obviously, without um, the lady that Jesse was playing. Playing. Uh, I am playing Eugene Donalds. Yes. Who is uh, like Indiana Jones? Kind of. Uh, kind of like MacGyver. Or the gadget guy. Actually, um, one of my moves is called MacGyverin. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of a tinkerer. I love that. Okay. Who are you playing again? I'm playing Oliver Griffin, <laughs> aka uh, Harry. Pointer. Harry Pointer, huh? Uh, <laughs> um, but I do have... Okay, so we fudged a couple of rules yesterday, um, but nothing major. Um, we And we just got roasted. So uh, I think we learned some lessons about things we need to prioritize. Uh, but... Uh, one new thing here, uh, this would have been useful to know yesterday, so Eugene, I did tell you this much, he cannot uh, get companions. Correct. Because he has a transfer box on the yeah, side. Yeah, I wondered of the what the, I wondered if everybody had this. Um, nope, just Eugene. When Eugene is in play, any player, once on their turn, may pay three resources to transfer a played action card from their player board to the right of Eugene's board. If there is already, if there is a card already in that spot, they take that card into their hand. This means players could be taking other characters' cards into their hand. Oh. Such a card stays with that player the rest of the game unless some other power or ability transfers it to another player. So it's a way to exchange cards back and forth, potentially. Very cool. Okay. Um, and of course it talks about how all your time of day slots are wild. Um, we figured that one out without assistance. Um, so that's about it. Everything else looks like it operates mostly the way we were doing it. Um, I'm hoping that maybe by getting our rotations right to begin with, it'll make it a little easier, and also knowing what we're doing a little bit. Um, 
Uh, but this game seems hard. Yeah, it was quite punishing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how we can do this time. Uh, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, sorry. I, like My family chat's going off, so like I'm asking my sister if she wants me to build her inventory management system or the, like, the little uh, store they have in her school. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because my sister's... Uh, I always say I'm adopted because I'm nothing like them. Like they are fun, they are brilliant, they are outgoing, bubbly. You know, have this can-do attitude about everything. Where I'm so much more comfortable in the background. <coughs> and they truly, the two of them, if they put their heads together to change the world, I think we could have peace in the Middle East. I think global warming would be over. I think that all of the things would be better, right? Like no more homeless, no more hungry. Um, they haven't done that though. They're too busy like changing the minds of, uh, developing the minds of children, which is amazing. But I have a particular set of skills as well, and that is that I can build my sister an inventory management system to make, to make this thing that's a problem for her at work better. Which, you know, I'm sure just like when they get off the family chat. Um, also I have to say, uh, we have a niece, she is in seventh grade, going into seventh grade. She wears uh, like uh, Nirvana shirts all the time. Um, and she said to her mom tonight, uh, <laughs> Nirvana is such a preppy brand. I said what I said. She said, Nirvana is such a preppy brand. And Brooke said, you mean band? And she said, no, brand. Yes, because... And my sister was like, what are you talking about? She thought that Nirvana was a brand this yeah. whole time. And she's like, Kurt Cobain. It makes me insane when I see these, like, 12-year-old <laughs> girls walking around in Nirvana shirts. Okay. Is it, where, is, is it Target that has all this stuff? That Target does have it, but you get it on Amazon and all kinds of other places. Our godchild wears Nirvana shirts. And I said to them... I, I I will allow this, but you have to name me a Nirvana song that's not like smells, smells like, like Team Spirit. Spirit. And I they immediately they can't even do that. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! I bet I bet Lee that, could. Yeah, I bet Lee could. I bet most kids <laughs> yeah. cannot even Lee, do Lee's smell like, like Sit Team down Spirit. and let me give you a little lesson on Nirvana. Uh, yeah. And was singing songs to me I never even heard. Now they could have been making them up. I was not a Nirvana fan, still am not a Nirvana fan, so I can't validate what they were saying. I mean, they use... <laughs> they use Nirvana in any Batman movie. Like, they still use it in stuff. Yeah. In modern stuff. Uh, again, Kurt must be spinning in his grave, but that's the world we live in. Um, okay, uh, gosh. <laughs> Ugh, Nirvana is such a preppy brand. Preppy? Yeah. Anyway, okay, so let's get our ass kicked. Uh, you want me to go first again? Uh, I asked if you wanted to, you said you did. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. If possible. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is charge. I'm taking a whole new leash on life here. Okay. Okay. So here I go. Out, into the hallway, through here, into here. Okay. And then I get to stab. Yes. So hand me a blue dice. Give me that beautiful blue dice. Stab. Okay. Scarab gets to roll one. So he gets to skitter even though I stabbed him. So he's just gonna go right across the hall. He can't go right across the hall. Oh. So he goes clockwise. He goes clockwise. That's not right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is weird because these all rotate counterclockwise. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to move this one. Unless okay. you want me to move it more. I'm also going to move it four for this guy, so... Yeah. Oh, wait, do I still get to do the end of stuff here? 
Um, there is no scarab in your room, so... Okay, well, I'm going to definitely lose a heart to get those beautiful, beautiful resources. Okay, now I'm going to rotate this four more. There's one, two, three... Four. Sorry, Jeremy, it's now daytime. Morning time. These things don't impact my character, so... They do, though, because they... Yeah. Impact the whole game. Okay, but. so gather strength. And I don't get XP for this. No, so that, that goes... Up here. Yeah, up there. And it he's goes, on green right now. Green, yeah. okay. So it currently does nothing, but it will get stronger. Okay. Uh, as he gets angry. Okay. All right. Um, and you don't want to do any optional powers. Um, I'm not suggesting you should. I'm just checking. I I can you I can do one. So let's see. Technically, we should have done that before the monster went, but. Uh, okay. Uh, is the ability of another player? I mean, I could do that to get my heart back and another resource. Yeah, but you get all of those there. Mm, should I do that? It's up to you. Uh, we'll lose a power. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. These guys are... Some, somewhat um, precious, but... You can actually curve from your hand to the top of your draw pile and take its actions. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me do that. You can choose to advance time or not. I'm going to play my shadow steps here. Okay, well, we really should do this thing. choose to advance time at any moment or not. Okay, so now I'm going to advance time for the floor that I need. One, two, three, four, five, four. Okay. Bro, am I allowed to show you my hand? Yeah, there's no reason though. The odds are better in our favor. The odds are better in our favor. Okay, good. Okay, can I just get off here now? Yeah, just get off. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
Um, there's lots of puppy wrestling going on in here, folks. I don't know if you can hear it, but I feel like you definitely can. They're having a good time. And our dog camera is catching our feet. Yep. What if we got a GoPro and strapped it to Barbara's head? I don't know if people watch the stream go up. Um, in fact, there should be a lot of shots of like Herb Snag, Gene Snag, Spot Snag. Um. Okay. So I. So the way our cameras are. Whoa! Oh. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, did that get on her? <laughs> yes. Served you right. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, I just realized that the way our cameras are, you, like I'm sitting here and then my feet are below and you're sitting here and your feet are below. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> um. All right. He's going to attack on this turn. Can he get in there? Currently. I don't think he can. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm going to use my shadow steps in the healing slot here. Um, I don't know what that says for one for that. And then... Barbara will just sleep under the table the whole time we're sitting here, unless the camera's down there. I'm going to invest this for two. Okay. Because that keeps them from getting in. Even though we're going to advance it to four. Oh, you're right. God, this is. I don't have the resources, but thank you. Um.
They are not in the same room. So we will not attack her. The overwhelming oh. 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 hammers the floor in his room, sending a shot. Oh. All players defend against a roll of dice, a blue dice, for a finisher shot. Nope. Discard. Discarded? Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> in the same room. He would have attacked her if they were in the same room. So it says this. Yes. Yes. But since he's not here, Yes. Okay. He's not in the room with us, so. so vocal. Hey, what's going on? I hurt him, Alan. No, her okay. is her bone. <laughs> she has 50 toys sitting here, but she can't. She wants the one that her had. Um. Okay. I have a. I have a rules question. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Take any one played action card back into your hand and play another in its place. So does that mean if I take this here, then I get to put one here, but then I get to play another one too? So that's this. Correct. Can I get into the. Uh, is it possible for me to get into the middle right now? No, but if you advance time, it will be. You mean to get in here? Yeah, you need to advance time by at least one. Okay, so I'm going to take this charge back in my hand, and I'm going to oh. replace it with. Well, I say that, but if you advance for even one, it's going to Turn change the, same. the day. The so day is going to change. That might change things, I don't know. On my turn. Can I have a book? Yeah. I'm going to play this Lore Master uh, Meditations down here instead. And then I'm going to hit my Shadow Steps again. you jump to either adjacent room and take the action there. So if you go in here, you could jump here or here. And that's the thing. Okay, can I get uh, one of the, the warden cards? Uh, where did I put those? Up there. Did I put those, did I put those away? I thought I left everything out. Oh, you know what? I probably made one pile. Uh, yeah, you can get the 
Okay, I'm gonna forge another red dice. I don't know, do you think I should shield? Fuck it, I'm fighting. <laughs> Sorry, my weekend mouth is clearly just here. You can also forge blue, just so you know. Which one's, I thought red was just, I thought blue was just kind of generic and red is kind of stabby. Uh, yeah, red is stabby, black is shieldy, blue is uh, that everything? has a mix, and it's the only one that has your burst ability on it. Um, so. I just, I, I don't really understand my magic power here, and I don't know what the icon is, and I can't. Like this, okay. Listen, this is how old yeah, I am. Well, no, they're too small. They're just straight up. Okay, flippity blink dice and stab dice to the opposite side. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, that's not me telling you you should make a blue. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm making a red. I'll yeah. reserve the right to make a blue in the future. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my misdirection and go into the... You have to use that when you play a card. You have to hold on to it until you play another card. One time use, one play. Okay. Um, and I can't use that on my shadow steps, obviously. Okay, well then I guess I'm here. And so I'm gonna advance time for one. Okay. And then four. Oh, Jesus. Okay, and then he's just gathering strength. That one gave him a sword. Okay. Okay, uh, that would be my turn.
my Merlin effect here. So get three of these. I'll give one to you, and that gets me two XP. Love that. Okay. Power. Okay, yeah. This is just going the way I want it to. Okay. Then I'm going to go back up. Attacks, uh, those will get used. Okay, and then they just get started. The dude, um, and whoever uh, uses it alone gets XP for all of them, which is nice. Oh, that's what the XP is for. Yes. A lot of XP. Yep. Girls. Do you also have to what? survive the night? <laughs> yeah. You can't die. This is true. Okay, so now it's my turn? Yeah.
So if none of them shielded, would that have killed all six? Uh, if none of them had been shielded? Mm-hmm. How far would no. my one stab have gone? Just your, your one stab would have killed one bullet, yeah. Okay. Shield will reduce my five attack to four. Um, but he skittered, so. So, yeah, all these guys are done. That's a lot of XP, sir. Uh, when I get two XP for this. Actually. I don't think I, well, maybe I do get XP for all these. Um, I definitely get two for the card. Uh, so I'll take two. Teleport to any blighted room. Oh wait, we don't have a blighted room. Damn it. Uh. All right. We'll 
will do a thousand duels. How about that? Jerks. How about that? Uh, take three scarabs from the manor and place them on this prowler. Suck it, Trebek. Alright. And I can use those to juice my abilities in the future. Okay. And then... So, can we... You advance time for your thing. I already did, yep. So now he will do his two and... This is going to spawn a, a scarab somewhere. Spawn a scarab. We're still on yellow, right? Uh, we're, we're on day four. Are we green? This is our last day on green. Yep. So we spawn one scarab in six. Outer circle? In a, or middle. Just one so far. I mean, this is. I don't want to jinx this, but this is already going better than so it was. So much better. Okay, so I'm going to use Magic Mirror now, uh, which lets me copy the action on, on my plate action card. Okay. I'm going to do charge. So it's giving me a bonus sword. I will stay right on that, though. I'm not going to move nowhere. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to fight. Okay. Three swords. Looking good. So far, so good. There's two bugs in two there. Two bugs in there. All right, you little turds. One sword, no defense. Okay. Still don't know how they can stab me if I've stumped on them, but whatever. We'll take it. We'll take it, right? Yeah, that's one XP a piece plus the bug, or two XP and no bug. So at the end of your turn, we're going to have to do scarabs. this is full? Yeah. But, since we emptied this out, no more will spawn in here. Tiny plot, but it tells you how her. She adds two swords in battle. The next box down. Pay one dice to move her to any connected room. Oh, a dice to move her. Ignoring scarab rolls. Okay. So should I pay a dice to move her? No, no, I'm not. I'm just, yeah, saying that we can move her now. Um. Okay. So, which is great because we can get her away from that jerk. I'm gonna do this. Play an action card from your hand to the top of your draw file and take its actions. Okay. Do I have another flame? It comes in and it comes out, right? Mm -hmm. Can you give me another score? Um, and then, okay, so now, I'm going to move time forward one, and move time forward two, and three, he's moving, uh, if they're in the same room, then, uh, he spawns a scarab, 
Mm -hmm. Elsa writes, move the chaos ogre to Lady Werewood's room, or as close as possible. Does it say anything special if you can't leave? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, if he is, oh wait, it does. If he is trapped in his current room, he destroys the room to place a rubble tile there. He now moves out of the room by a broken doorway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But can he get in? Uh, we'll see. Get in through there. Would he not move quiet? It doesn't matter. If, if there's a okay. way for him to get in, he'll... He can't get in that way. There. there. No, we can't. So, what? Which one of these rooms do we want him to move into? Players decide between equidistant rooms. Rooms on the same ring are closer than across quarters, and the order must always move to another room. So we can get in here. Uh, he can get in here. Yep. Uh, and now, okay, everyone skitters. So this guy can get out here, so we'll do that. There you go, clockwise, Jeremy. face down to make it a fight action. Uh, so uh, one red, one blue. We'll roll me a blue for the bug. That's fine. You can defend. Blank. <laughs> uh, all right, dead bug. and then any resource that you choose? Yeah. That's 
They can only defend, so roll yep. two blue dice for those cards. Nope, no defense. Nothing. Yeah, so I'll take those. Okay, so I will take two XP from one, and then keep one. Oh, uh, we didn't skip our head in my turn. Oh, okay. Those guys wouldn't have moved over because they're in the outer room. Correct, and nothing could have moved in with them. Correct. Um, this guy will come here. I'm also going to do a little misdirection here. Okay. Portal to any room. A portal here. So I get a heart and a book. Can you get a heart or a book? I'll take a heart. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now I actually get three cards in my hand, which is a nice feeling. Ooh. Uh, it says you may transform any of your resources for any other types exchanged from the game supply. Does that mean I can do it for a power? Uh, does it show what? Does Nothing. it show one of these or? It just says resources. Then, sure, I guess so. over to her room, or as close as possible. Oh, he just goes straight in there. Yep. Oh, fuck. So now, can I still sacrifice a dice to put her out? Um, what is, does it say at any time of your turn? It just says once rescued. Okay, then yeah, I guess so. Should we move in there and start punching? What do we think we should do with your germs? Oh, he's gonna get so hard. 
Okay, here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and sacrifice my red dice here. Are you sure? Yep. Two more scare rolls. Move to any connected room. No. Yeah, but she can go further than that. She, she oh, okay. moves through scarabs. Oh, okay. So any room that's connected. So can we move her all the way to here? If you can get her out there, but this room is blocked, oh. though. Um, is there a way to get her out? I don't think currently. I think the best we can do is one of, one of these in the, the middle room. Okay. So forge for an extra resource if you want. Hell yeah. An extra resource of any kind. I, I mean, you pay that plus. Yeah. Uh, and then for my next move. The walls are hard to see sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, we'll go there and we'll fight this bug. Kill it. Kill it with fire. I would like to punch the ogre, but I can't get to him. Two shields, two swords. What this bug got? Not enough. A shield. Dead bug. Dead bug. Takes a two XP. Ooh, ooh. That gets me a, a skill thing. Um, and then I will. I will use my sense darkness. Teleport to any blighted room and defeat up to two bugs there. Hell yeah. So 
you got two good choices. Mm-hmm. But do I want to come in here and offer support to her in case he's moving? Yeah, this is the point where we can move her if we need to. Um, I'll teleport to the front line here. Get these two. So they just automatically go away? Yeah. And you don't get their, do you get XP for it? So this is the feet up to two bucks there. That's how you get XP for that, but what do I know? Um, I think that's how we played it last night. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, and then, let's see, a flame, a bug, and a book. Over. That's three more Fantastic. One, two, three. Um, so, what does this say to you? Uh, you can exhaust a companion to get three resources of your choice. So, there's no reason you would ever want to go there. Okay. Um. Uh, but this uh, lets me banish a uh, scarab somewhere. So let's banish this jerk. Okay. And I don't get XP for that. All right. So where's the time moving to? Uh, four. Well, but did you move it time for your yeah, turn? Yeah. Hurt and angry, the Chaos Ogre seeks temporary refuge from his enemies. If the Chaos Ogre is missing any help, move him to the nearest connected empty room. Players choose which room, except the throne room. If he is trapped in his current room, he destroys the room. Place a rubble top there. He now moves out of that room via his broken doorways. If he is at full health, place, the, place this card at the bottom of the draw pile. Could be worse. Um, 
very cool. Yeah, super very cool. Actually, wait. Is there anything here that I can... Six, so we're yellow. What's he got? Two black, two blue, two red. Plus five automatic stabs. Yep. Uh, you got those germs. Discarded and there were two apiece. So oh, yeah, you get six. Yep. So I'll take. Mm -hmm. to do that room ability. Really? Yeah. So you get a heart and a book. Great. And I'm going to take a book. And I don't get to use the room ability here because this fucker's here. But I do get to Okay. 
Да? Okay, so if I have an extra flame up here, does that mean I just get an extra flame? It works like a discount. Too. So anytime something requires you to spend a flame, it costs two less. It's like a splinter. So if... if does that count towards these? Yeah, it counts towards anything. shifting mana. Oh yeah, okay. This direction here and teleports here. So, get those resources there? Yeah. Okay. Alright, back up to three health. So now you've already moved that. Yep. So move so. forward four. Thundering Roar, if they're in the same room, then he stabs her. Uh, the Chaos Ogre's hatred reverberates throughout the manor. All players lose one heart. Gross. That could have been better, huh? Uh-huh. Alright, uh, I'm just going to fight. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I got three stabs on him. He has two of everything. He's got 
stabs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got four stabs and two shields. Uh, after the battle rolls, swap up to two dice between you and your enemy. So what if I trade this? This. wondering if I want to take one of his shields. I'll do three damage on him. Or, and he'll do, we'll do three damage, or he'll do two damage on me, I'll do three damage on him. No, these are your dice? Yeah, those are mine. He's, he's only got two shields. So I'll do three damage oh, on yes, him. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And he'll do two damage on me. Yeah, I like those odds. I'll take two damage, no problem. Uh, then we're just gonna yoink. take these with him. Is that good? Sure. Okay. Okay, so now this. And then, do we do this first or this first? You do. Oh, is he not gone yet? Uh, he, he goes first. Okay. Uh, stalking you. If you and him are in the same room, then he puts uh, out a scarab. Wait, 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 wait. Is one of those hits on the scarab and then. Two oh, on him? yes. Okay, so one hit on a scarab, two hits on him. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I forgot there was a scarab in there. Uh, okay, I am actually going to just sacrifice the scarab to get a power. Okay. Um, still not mad at it. Still not mad at it. We got one of the gay. Okay. So now... But he's spawning one? Yes. Those all go away. This goes away. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I have another sword. So he did get three. I have an extra sword. Okay. Okay, three down, 15 to go. Don't call a comeback, kids. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, so now we s that causes a whole bunch of spawning? Yeah, these jerks are gonna skitter. This one's trapped. This one's not. Damn bugs, dude. Okay. And we're locked in till the end of your turn. You might want to get out of there. Yeah, I do, but.
Oh wait, I get XP for that. I get one XP per hit inflicted on him. So that's one, two, three XP for that. Mm -hmm. Zero XP per scarab that is banished. One per defeated and put in your personal supply or two per defeated. Okay. Gonna copy the movements. Okay. Um, wait, no, I'll copy this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Shift the position to so two. Well, there we go. So there's my chunk in here. Just come down here and do this. Uh, glittering cellar. We roll the die. See what we get. Eight. So you get a power. Great. Love that. Yep. Do we have to move that forward to dawn? Yes. 
get her again. This manor is even real messed up. This manor is weird. to the activating player's room or as close as possible. If he is trapped in his current room, he destroys the room. I did not take any damage from the open or you can't damage a damaged person. Four swords heading his way. Okay. Four shields, two, four, five swords. Okay. Do I want to swap those again? I could swap a one sword for a two sword <laughs> and one shield for a two shield. If I do that, let's just see if this makes it worth it. Okay, so this is, if I'm hitting him for four, and he has three, then I'll hit him for one. <coughs> and he will hit me for one, two, three, four, with three shells. And he'll hit me for one, I'll hit him for one. Worth it. <laughs> okay, so I hit him for five. Blocks three of it. Oh, so I hit him for two. It's gonna spawn two scarabs. Shielded for three, so you just might need to go hard. 
I'll trade this for a blue dice. Okay, now. Uh, okay. And you know what? I'm going to MacGyver this. Uh, take any one played action card back into your hand and play another in its place. I guess the type of day. I am going to bust out the Tactician's Gambit. That can be nice me too. Okay, uh, do not advance time in playing this card. Draw two cards. Draw two cards above your hand limit, or you can draw two cards even above your hand limit, and play another card face up over top of this. So I'm going to attack him again. Okay. We're just going for it now, huh? I'm tired of his ugly mug. Okay, so I'm stabbing him for four. Five. I'm stabbing him for five. I'm shielded for two. He only got one shield, but he's got five damage. Okay, oh, well, he took one whole HP from me. Oh, no, 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 no. but I took uh, one, two, three, four, five. I hit him for five. Minus one. Okay, so there's one minus one red dice. We want black or blue dice coming off. Probably black. Uh, what what happens when we get rid of that bottom one there? He spawns a scarab where he's at. Okay. Uh, so now I get four XP for that. Here, just remove that scarab from where we are. What? Okay. Just remove the scarab. Okay. Two. Okay. All right, homie. All right. I am just kind of just going for it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Uh, he's moving for four. Okay. Um, oh, just a devious plan. And we're on day seven, so he is still on the yellow. So we get some extra blue die. Alright. I want to play this face down as an attack. I got a blue, two reds, and a black. And he's got two of everything plus one extra blue. Jeez. He he has two of everything. No, he has one, minus one red. Oh. Take off that too, baby. <laughs> um. What is what is his burst thing up there? Say? Blue dice. You already added it. No, I mean like the the symbol. The symbol. Uh oh. Over there on the back. This, of this. Yeah. He just he gets a sword and a scarab. Okay. But that only happens for his last. No, I think that's just his burst. Am I supposed to be burst. moving this blight threat? Oh yes. Oh, I forgot about that. But but we can tell. I've I flipped over one, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Yeah. Yep. If yep. Okay. Um, I totally forgot about that. That's the other way we can lose. Um. Ah, uh, right. so Let's see what I got going on here. Hell yeah. Uh, four, five, two shields. Two shields. 
Um, good lord. Uh, five, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight swords. Okay. Swords don't take out black dice. We don't want to spawn. Oh wait, no. There's no scarabs where we are. So do we want to just completely take out this black dice? I will probably. Okay. Uh, we're gonna spawn two scarabs and then one where we are, and you get three HP. Eleven. Very scared of these beetles. Uh, I got something for them. Uh, if, if it gets back around to me. Well, now. let's it this time for two. One, two. Oh, wait. Uh, get rid of that, and I get two more XP. Two scarabs. Rolls. Yes. Seven. Should have gone here, but I couldn't put it there earlier. Uh, but now it's broken. Because it's broken. <laughs> but if we can get out, we can get into the bug. I don't know, but we we and bugs can't go there. Uh, I was gonna say you went there instead. Okay. A scarab, a book, and a fire. Is there a light that I can overturn? Yeah, plenty. Uh, you have to clear the bugs out, though. I'm packing a lot of heat here. Okay. Um, what is this outer ring for again? Uh, for tracking damage. So oh. there, there are some tokens in there that I just didn't pull out that we can use to, like, add up how much we're doing, and then subtract, and then... That's crazy. Okay. Uh, which one can I get rid of? I've got one book, one flame, one scarab. Not this one. Uh, one book, one flame. One book, one flame. One book, one flame. Actually, this is empty, so you can just flip it. So I hate to use my faint on that. Okay, then don't. Uh, you get in here, but there's four bugs in here. Uh, and I get an extra S word on all of my attacks. This is two flames and one book. Well, we have one. Okay, I'll go there. Let's see if I can stop on three bugs. You can't get in here, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, you get in here. Okay, is it, here. is it one flame, one book there as well? It is. And four bugs? Uh -huh. Okay, well, I've got two guaranteed. 
Okay. I mean, they get to roll two, though, remember. Okay, you know what? I need to stop being a glory hound. No, put it's fine. There. Do it. No, put me in there. Let's just do the right thing. And so I'm just going to pay my little debt to society and flip that over. Okay. I'm going to get 2 XP for that, so I'm going to get a heart. And while we're here, I'm just going to miss a battle. Let me see what would have happened. And then they would have all rolled 47. Who knows? Okay, so now we're back to six. Okay. Also, we've got to add some dice into our throws. Cover this, so. What do you mean? Oh. I don't know if those oh. go to scarabs or if those go to him. Those, those go to him. Okay. Um. Okay. He's about to attack me. Oh no, Jeremy. Um, or he might move. Well, he can't. He can't get to you, so. Uh, let's see. He's going to be four. One, two, three, four. Chaos Ogre attacks all players in the room with him. Oh, wait. And each scarab in the room adds a. a we didn't do this. I, I just did. That's For me? Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and remember, this is him healing. Yeah. yeah. Each scarab in the room adds a blue die to his roll. Players can only defend. Um, okay. Uh, attacks all players. So he just attacks with whatever he's got here. So, uh, what dice? are we using here? For him? Yeah. Uh, two black, two blue, two red, minus a red, minus a black, plus a blue. <laughs> Three blues, one black, one red. But what about the pluses on the That's track there? That's including the pluses okay. on the track there. Three blues, one black, one red. Okay. Nice. You know, not that impressive, sir. He's kind of getting a little gassed, right? There's... Oof. I've got two shields. Yeah. Um... And an extra sword? Yeah, so he's hitting me for three. I've got two shields, so I'll take one damage. I've got three swords coming back at him with two shields, so he'll take a damage for a struggle. Oh wait, no, he won't. Uh, it says players can only defend. Okay, so you just take me. Okay. Give me for one. I'll take it. I was at max health anyway. Uh, Does that have all Okay. All right. Let's do. Scarabs in that room, banish them. So you don't get XP for those? Nope. You get XP for flipping the room. This plus one book one flame. Do I get this now for being in this room? Yes. Okay, yeah, so you actually it? should have gotten it at the end of your last turn, but yeah. So what uh, is it? A book and a flame? Uh, book and a Flame, and then portal? Mad, 
Mad Scientist's Lab. Uh, roll room dice and portal there. Okay, so I should have gone to seven here. Okay, so just move yourself. Do I also get to do this? But I think this is asking you to give up a dice for something, and I'm not giving up a dice at this point. No, that's not a dice, that's a resource. Oh, give up a resource to get a power? Yeah, it's basically just convert a resource into a power and an XP. I'm not doing that. Um, Alright, so I get two XP for my trouble there. Well done, sir. Um, and then... here to get three fires. And I will use Hopefully that has minimized our blight potential. How many do we have left? We've got one, two, three. Only three? One, two, three? Yeah, shit. Those, uh, those, uh, do they go back down? Yeah. Blight threat. How many blights do we have? Okay. Okay, great. Otherwise, why would you ever heal one? Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, okay. Uh, Alright, what's he doing? He's uh, moving for three. And then if they're in the room together, then he spawns. Otherwise, move the Chaos Ogre to Lady Weirwood's room. Or as close as possible. And this, he doesn't heal. I misread this. Uh, he just moves to a connected empty room away from us. Then we have to move again to get to him. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do some shadow steps. This one. This is currently blocked off. Yeah, and this one over here is also blocked. Or the one that was over here, where did it even go? I think it's flipped. What about Ancestor's Arsenal? That was somewhat else forge. Okay. Uh, well, Nito. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go. Uh, you can go here and teleport into one of these rooms or use a forge. Yeah, but I want to get out. Okay. Uh, okay, well, where is something else that's good? Yeah. 
They're in the same room. If her and him are in the same room, then he hits her for one. They're not. Uh, and the ogre repeatedly hammers the floor of the room, sending a shockwave through the manor. All players defend uh, against a red for shockwave. Two defense for me. Huh. Zip, zip. Okay. For me. Uh, it, it's, it doesn't matter. He did zero. I have so. one. Okay. Roll the blank. blank. Shooting blanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna play a little magic mirror over here. And since these are two pies, this is a sword. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna move for two. I'm gonna do my lighthearted faint. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna forge a dice. So I am going to forge another red dice because I'm sick of this guy's shit. It's gonna cost me one thing. I'm scared. A child. Okay. Uh, gives me another dice. And then for my next move, I'm uh, like, hey, friends. Hello. Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh, wait, okay, let's use all my dice. Now I'm attacking him for one, two, three, four, five. I'm attacking him for five. One shield, a burst, that gives him another sword. Gives him another sword. So, one, two, three, four, five swords. Okay, well let me just do that first. Okay, so he hits me for five. I have one, two, three shields, so he hits me for two. So that's just out forever? I, I mean, as long as my card is up there, yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. So he hit me for one. Okay. And then I hit him for one, two, three, four, five, six. You got one shield. So I just hit him for five? Get over. Much better the second time around. Yeah. I didn't use any companions. Oh, and I forgot I had an extra sword. Okay. Uh, cause the room, the rooms where I could get them kept getting blocked off. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it, it definitely much better that time. I don't so know we how. Did just draw bad. We didn't really have a strategy because we didn't really know how to strategize Yeah. that first time around, um, and also just drew... You remember, we played Aeon's End, where it's just like, the second round, we're like, we're canning this and resetting, because we've drawn like shit, and we just knew that we've drawn like shit because we played the game enough. Yeah. Um, and we didn't know we needed to, you know, get her out. Move um, her. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I don't it so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's it's neat, like it's a neat concept and it's, it's really rad. Certainly a cool board, but having the different parts blocked off I don't know, I need to play it again. I I, I actually really like that part. Really? Okay, I don't know why this is weird. What is, where's review? Oh, never mind. Get my glasses tomorrow. <laughs> um, my new and improved glasses. So I actually like, it adds a layer of complexity to the game. You have to just really think through what you're doing. And I appreciate that tonight. I did not appreciate that last night. So, <laughs> um... I think when we play this the third time, we will love it. Well, and there are two other enemies. Okay. Um, that behave completely differently. So maybe we'll play it against him one more time. Um. <laughs> yeah, and a ton of a ton of uh, different player characters. I wish that there were cards that we could improve our deck with. Uh, I mean, we could have potentially used your thing to swap back and forth, but um, I feel like we're, that's what this is, right? Um, these these guys give you extra powers that just we don't have access to here. Okay. Um, we just didn't engage with that at all because we were too busy trying to survive. <laughs> and again, those rooms kept, anytime I tried to go to one of those rooms, it got blocked off, so. Um, I feel like uh, the next time I play, I want to try and get one of these and see if that how much it changes things. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, well, we will not be playing this again tomorrow. No, we will not. We will be on the road to Gen Con. Yep. I'm so excited. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I am so stinking excited. I'm What's so ready place? to be here. Uh, I am ready to see friends. I am ready to not cook. I am ready to play new games. 
I am excited to play a 36 spirit game of Spirit Island. What I do to that, honey? Okay, I am not as excited as I thought I was about playing a 36 spirit you're game not, of Spirit Island. I think we should just host that. You're not doing that because you're going to be playing uh, Holomatics. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> sorry, Kahatabal, if you're watching. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do that. That's. You will be playing Holomatics while I meet with while somebody. While you're pigeon. Yeah. Yeah, baby, Jamie's gonna good. I gotta stop yawning, but it is like an hour past my bedtime. Uh, Jeremy, you know, please come and help the contract with some sold games. That was one. That was one. Yeah. Uh, we will do a stream from our house of a hall. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe some more stuff. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, some stuff like if y'all want to see like the expo floor, we can stream that, or we can just chill and. Give a recap when we get home. Yeah. All right. You ready to pack? Yeah. I guess we gotta raid somebody. Yeah. Let's go raid somebody. Uh, let's see who's online. Oh. Oh, Tommy is. Yep. Let's go raid Time Roller. Oh, oh I stream. see kitties out here. So, puppy cam to cat cam. Enjoy, y'all. <laughs> hey, see y'all in a couple days. See ya. He's gonna make a joke about it. Hey, um, you're... Our Been packing for two weeks. Elevation games and raining. I was gonna raid them. Tiny little lesson stuff to do. Yeah, I understand. 